Hey friends, welcome in this video and here we are going to create an Angular 7 application within 10 minutes. Yes, so we will set the application and we will run the Angular 7 application within 10 minutes and our time starts now. And we are going to start this from scratch so I will tell you what you need to download for this. So let me pull up on the screen whatever things you need. The first thing you need is a node.js because here we will be using angular cli to generate the project and to generate the components so you can just go on this website and according to your uh, operating system you can download the node.js from here second thing you need is the ide so you can use uh, use any ide like eclipse intellij but for this session i am using visual code so if you want to follow the same you can just go here and you can download the visual code for your appropriate uh, operating system once you're done with node.js so i'm not going gonna tell you all this process it is very simple you just download node.js double click it the exe will run it will open a wizard you can just do next 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 and you're done you will get the node.js so once the node.js is installed you can open a command prompt or a node.js command prompt so you can see you can see something like this node.js command prompt and in this node.js command prompt we will create our new angular application and we will be using angular cli for this so first you need to download an angular cli so this node.js i'm just giving a brief uh, about the node.js so the node.js comes with a node package manager and what this node package uh, manager will do it will install anything you want uh, from the web so you have to do npm install and give the name and it will download those dependencies for you so since we have to use uh, angular cli we have to install npm install minus g so this minus g stands for global so i want to like you can do two things you can install it locally so it will work only in this hkurmi folder but if you are installing it globally it uh, you can use this from anywhere so angular cli i'm installing here globally so it will be cli and do not worry about the comments uh this commands i will paste all these into the video so just you can copy from there and you can run the same command so as you're seeing the uh, cli is getting installed in my system it will take only few minutes few seconds to install so we can wait for it and uh, once this is done let me explain you something about angular cli so what we will do once this is installed we will navigate to our workspace where we want to create our angular project so you can create your workspace and you can create a project there by using this cli So I think it's okay. No, it's not taking too much time. So you can see it install a CLI. You can see Angular slash CLI 6.24 and it's done. So now what I will do, I will navigate to my workspace. So let's say my workspace is CD YouTube. Okay. Now here in this C drive in YouTube, I want to create an Angular project. So it's very simple. You just have to create ng new and then you have to give the project name so i will call this as my ng app sorry we have my ng app i will hit enter and now this is gonna take some time so i will pause this video and once my app is created i will resume from there okay so here we are done creating our app so you can see again i'm just saying like it's very simple it's a command ng new and you have to give the name of your project we are here i have i have given the name my ng my n app i think i have just uh, did another uh, mistake here so no problem we will go with this name so you you see it created too many things inside it and that in initialized it and it gave like too many things it is saying like it installed these many packages around 1075 packages are already added and now the project is created 
So let me see whether it is created or not. So I will say CD A and I will try to go inside this project. So it's my okay, it's there. And let me see what all our things are there. So oh sorry. So uh, what I will do now I will use my visual code. Okay. So this is visual code. So whenever you will finish downloading, it might ask you to restart. And once you are done, you will see this kind of a screen. So whenever you want to open any project in this, it's just opening a folder. So if you are not familiar with visual code, so don't be confused with like Eclipse and Eclipse, you have to export a complete project here. You can open any of the folder. So it's like totally simple and it, it works really cool. So just go on file. Click on open folder, click on the folder which we created. We created my and app. I will select this folder. And you can see here is my app. Now I will go with everyone, every each of these lines, every each of these folders in my next video where I will explain everything, what these things are and where we will use this. But in this video, we are mainly focusing on running this application. So this is a complete application Angular gives us. Let me show you how to run this. So I will go to terminal here. I will open a new terminal. Now you can open this inside uh, this uh, visual code or you can open an external terminal. It doesn't matter actually. Now here you will see I have my package.json. So let me show you. So these are the node modules it installed for me in source. I have my app and here you have package.json and this package.json will contain all the dependencies which are needed for me. So all the dependencies are here. Now what I will do, I will just go and see what is a command to start this. So you can see there is a command start. So you can directly call ng serve or you can call a start to start the server. Let me call npm run start. So I will say npm run start start and this should start my server. While the server is started starting, let me show you something. So when I come to the source, you can see here a app folder. This app contains a component. So this is like the root component for us and uh, we can create uh, we can create another uh, components here from CLI and uh, we can include those into our application. So in this video, I will be just showing the default component which is generated here. So let me start the server. Okay, it's starting. Let me see. this page okay so you can see uh, just a second you can see my app is running on this port how I got this port I can show you so I will go to the terminal I will see the log and it's saying okay it's running on this so I will navigate to this and I can see my app is running here where is it this one now we will try to see like what is this and uh, can we change this so I, I will just change i will just change something to show you that this is now our app and we can do anything with this so i will come here i will go to app component html and you see this welcome to title is showing here and this title is coming from the TypeScript. So whenever we are generating a component, it's having like four main parts. It will have the CSS. This is a CSS for this component. This is a HTML for this component. This is a spec file where you can write your karma test cases. This we will discuss later. And this is a TypeScript or the component. And this, the name of the title is coming from here. So let me show you where the title is showing. You can see here on the tab, it's saying my app name, my app, sorry. So this is coming from there. 
I can change this. I can tell it like uh, my first app and I will save this and you can see whenever I will save this you can see on terminal it will just recompile it see and I do not have to do anything I will just go again and I can see it should change oh there is something wrong my first app okay I change this let me again hit enter and save it's recompiling it's, it's reloading okay it's coming here sorry I think there is a title then we have to change somewhere else so you can see welcome to my first app now let me change something more so this line is getting printed I can say welcome mm. to or I can remove this welcome I can add here something uh, you can say this is my and then we are reading this title from this which is which I will change to F I R S T first application so now you see whenever I'm saving it's changing it here and you can see it's also changing it here now the next thing you, you can see like whenever we are running this application uh, it's converting actually it's compiling all these things so these are the TypeScript so it will compile these TypeScripts into the JavaScript and then it will uh, like render on the screen so when just a second when we will go to HTML component here and let me show you by deleting something mm, and I will remove this UI holy UI And you can see it's reflected up here now this app component dot HTML is a main uh, you can say it's a root component so whenever you will create your component you can add up here and this will be included into the index dot HTML that is here so you can see this app root this is a component which I was telling is the root component and how I know that this is the same component so as I told you when a component is generated there are four things CSS so this is generally generally the SAS files like CSS files HTML files this is a for unit testing and this is a component here which is a dot TS app dot component dot TS and when I will come here you can see this is a decorator for component at the rate component and this is a selector so this selector is saying whenever you want to use this use app hyphen root this same thing we are using in index.html so i like we will be never change we will never change this index.html we won't add anything here we will just add in our this root component so you can just go and play with this application and uh, in our next video i will show you how we can add more component and i will go through all these things like what is this asset why we are using this asset what is environment what is the browser list so i will cover all these files and in next video, I'll let's just give me a sneak peek to you guys what we will be using. So we will go here and we will see these uh, components. So these components all are, are already pre-built and given by uh, Angular to us. So we can just copy paste these and we can see how we can incorporate these in our application. And it really makes very helpful and it's very easy for us to make our application from these because these are just pre-built. You have to just uh, use like it's plug and play. So thank you for watching the video and uh, see you in next video.